this is part two of my PlayStation 3 collection. Part one ended at 115, so we're gonna start at 116 with the Jack and Daxter collection in HD. This is by Naughty Dog, the same creators of Uncharted and The Last of Us. This is a great studio. I platinum the first one, but I yet to play the second and third. Still gotta get back to them. Next, we got Kane and Lynch, Dead Men. This is the same team behind uh, Mini Ninjas. This is from that era where most of the games that were coming out were shooters. And I yet to play this one, but I want to try it. And after that, we got Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days. This is again by the same team, but I see like the Square Enix logo down there. Maybe that's something to do with this, not sure. But this one is backwards compatible on the Series X, but not the first one. Kind of weird, right? After that, we got Killzone Trilogy by Guerrilla Games. These guys are great right here. The same creators of Horizon Zero Dawn. The only way to get the first game on PS3 as well. Next we have Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix. This is like an action RPG game with all the Disney characters. And I heard this is a great game right here, Square Enix. Gotta check these out. All right, at 121, we got Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix. More of the same, and uh, again, I wanna get to these games. Uh, I heard a lot of good things about them. Oh my God, The Last of Us by Naughty Dog. Ellie and Joel, they're like the most, they're the characters that I've gotten like the most emotional attachment to. Like I literally teared when I saw the intro of part two, like the whole scene with the guitar and he sings for her, like because she saved him in the first one. Oh my God. LA Noir. So all the facial technology that they use for this game is amazing. Cause like you gotta be able to tell if people are lying to you and it's, it's pretty dope. Check it out if you haven't played that. Next, we got Lost Planet Extreme Conditions. This is a Capcom game and uh, it's like a third person shooter. Kind of reminds me of Gears of War like in the snow. Pretty good. Backwards compatible on the Series X. We got Lost Planet 2. More of the same. Still haven't gotten on this one, but uh, I'm pretty sure everything that the first one got wrong, they probably fixed on this one. Another game that's backwards compatible on the Series X. And last but not least, we got Lost Planet 3. This is by another development team, but again, third person shooter. I'm pretty sure they probably did the same thing as Dead Space. This one is probably like more action based. Next, we got Little Big Planet. This was Sony's answer to like like a mascot platformer and uh these games are pretty good i like the whole creator level thing but unfortunately the servers are down next we got little bit planet 2 same team never got to this one but uh i'm pretty sure again more of the same and it's a metacritic bus play Next, we got Little Big Planet Karting, another kart racing game that's not bad. You know, compared to Mario Kart, you don't really need anything else, but this one is worth checking out. Oh, next one, we got Lollipop Chainsaw by Grasshopper Manufacturer. These guys right here, they make some bugged out games like that. Shadow of the Dam, and, and uh, this game was actually written by James Gunn. And it's voiced by uh, Lex Luthor from Smallville. Next, we have Mass Effect Trilogy. This comes with all three games, of course, by Bioware. I heard the first one is, is all right, not that great, but part two, is a masterpiece and uh part three again the same thing you know it becomes more like the action base but i heard part three is good as well 
the next Metal Gear Solid Guns of the Patriots. This is the game right here that put the PS3 to work to its max right here. Another Metacritic must play. The action stealth masterpiece. I heard the cinematic sometimes lasts like 40 minutes in this game. So <laughs> get ready to watch a movie as well as you play. Number 133, we got Midway Arcade Origins. This is like 30 plus games right here in Midway. But I remember growing up, Midway was always like one of the best arcade game makers you know they were the makers of nba jam and so many great ones pit fighters in this yeah check this one out another midway classic right here purchased by wb mortal kombat 9 this is when they when they revamped everything and they um took the style and brought it back to like 2d after the whole 3d thing with like armageddon and deception and uh this one is pretty good Next, we have Midnight Club Los Angeles. This game right here, it almost feels like Grand Theft Auto, but without the open world aspect, like you're just driving. Next, we got Mirror's Edge by EA and DICE. I guess the same guys that did Battlefield and the Medal of Honor remakes. And uh, there's like a first person parkour game. Like you're running around jumping buildings. At 137, we got Motor Storm by Evolution Studios. This game is awesome right here. It looks amazing. This is one of the first titles on the PS3. And uh, it shows the power. Next, we got Madden 2010. This is one of the highest rated Madden games from like the later years. Not bad, I'm still a fan of uh, Madden 2004 with Michael Vick on the cover. Next, we got Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Fate of Two Worlds. I remember when this game came out, oh my god, first day I had to buy this. Such a big fan of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And 3 did not disappoint. Next, we got the Lego title, Marvel Super Heroes. These games are always fun. They're not stressful, easy to plan them. Great game to just play with like all family members. We got MLB The Show 2010. This is when these games were masterpieces right here. A must play on Metacritic. Look at that, a baseball game. You already know these games are excellent. Next, we got MLB The Show 2011. Again, these games were on point. A Metacritic must play. Joe Maurer on the cover. He just made the Hall of Fame crazy, right? Next, we got Major League Baseball 2K12. This might have been, no, I think the one after this, 2K13, was the final 2K baseball game. Justin Verlander. This game is not bad. Next, we got Metro Last Light. These games are first person shooters, and um, they're not bad. You're kind of like a underground setting very like grim and dark still gotta play those next we got mafia 2 now these games are like uh, open world almost like grand theft auto setting but you know mafia and um part two is the one that gets the most praise so i want to check it out for sure At 146, we got Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. This is basically Mortal Kombat 8. Because of this game, they decided to revamp and go back to the 2D style and make Mortal Kombat 9. So this is a good, this is an important game in the series. Next, we got Max Payne 3 by Rockstar. This is, I heard, one of the most expensive games ever. They, they spent a lot of bread on this. And uh, this game is amazing. Got a, you know, slow motion shooting, action, third person. Awesome. Check it out if you have it. 
next, we got Mod Nation Racers. This game is almost like Little Big Planet, but with kart racing. So I guess like you make your own, you can make your own races, own cars, own characters. It looks pretty fun. Next, we got Mega Mind: The Ultimate Showdown. This is another game that's super easy to platinum. It's like like some type of adventure um, platform game, but as you can see, the Metacritic score wasn't that great. Next, we got one of my most expensive games in my collection. This one is sealed, actually. So this is the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection. These. This basically has like every Metal Gear title ever released. If you're a fan of Metal Gear, this is actually a better collection to have than the one that just got released in 2023. Next, we got Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Now, this is by Platinum Games. This game right here is completely different, but it's my type of game right here. Hack and Slash. I love Platinum Games, and they always make games that are worth playing. Next, we got near now this is a game right here that i yet to check out but i always hear good things about it it's like an action rpg and it's connected to that near automata you definitely gotta check out if you haven't played next we got ninja gaiden 3 this is by team ninja one of the ones that didn't get such a great score but this game is still worth playing it's part of the collection on the PlayStation 4 as well. Next, we got Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. This is by Level 5, it's a role playing game. And uh, you can't tell by the cover, but the art style in this game is really nice. It was like a, it was like a Japanese anime. Next, we got Need for Speed Undercover. Now these games right here were made by Black Box. Black Box also did Need for Speed The Run, which is pretty good. Next, we got number 156, Need for Speed Carbon by EA and Black Box, same team. This one is pretty good actually, more arcade style racing and um, I enjoy this one a lot. This one came out before undercover next we got need for speed shift now this one was more of an attempt to make like their simulator version more like gran turismo and um i yet to check these out but this game got a pretty good score so i'm sure it's not bad and next we got need for speed pro street this one again by black box i think they made like four or five need for speed games in a row but Again, the run was still the best one out of all of them. And here it is. Need for Speed The Run. This game right here is pretty fun, man. I was pretty addicted to this one. It has some like quick time elements where you get out of the car and you have to like press buttons and all that. It only happens like two or three times. But this game is fun right here, man. You're like driving in the snow and the mountain and the avalanche is coming at you. Next, we have Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012. This one is by Criterion, and Criterion is known for the Burnout games, and they're a pretty good studio, but um, the original Most Wanted is pretty much the best Need for Speed game. Next, we got Need for Speed Shift 2 Unleashed. Now, this game, again, with the racing simulator thing, they got the same team to come back. They get a pretty good score, so... They can't be bad. Next, we got another one by Criterion, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit. Now, this one is considered to be one of the best ones. And I'm not surprised because Criterion, they make great racing games. Next, we got Need for Speed Rivals. Now, this one is developed by Ghost. And these guys are not that great. They make kind of mediocre games, but I don't know. This one got an 80 on Metacritic, so it must be good. Next, we got NBA 2K10. 
I'm a big basketball fan, so it's always great to go back and see these old rosters on some of these teams. But um, this is when these greens were amazing. Check it out if you never play these. And at 165, we got NBA 2K11. This is when they finally got the license for Jordan and they started putting him in the game. And these were some of the best NBA 2K games right here. Again, NBA 2K12, more of the same. This is when these games were on point. I put a lot of hours on these right here. And finally, NBA 2K13. This is the one that Jay-Z did the soundtrack for. And um, the last game for a while that, that kind of focused on the whole Jordan Dynasty thing. This was like one of the first titles that had multiple athletes on the cover. But it's before that V-Coins nonsense. NCAA Football 13. Now these games right here are actually going up in value. 2014 is worth like around $70. So this game is, keeps going up. It's up to 23 bucks. I remember when I found that game, I paid three bucks for it. Next, we got the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Now, this game should have been like under letter E, but I saw the big Oblivion in the cover and I just put it on the O. But this is a Metacritic must play at 93. Next, we got One Piece Unlimited World Red. This game was also released on the PS Vita. I've yet to play, but I'm a big fan of One Piece and uh, I love getting their stuff, so I had to get this. Right, next another one piece title this is the japanese version of pirate warriors 3 now this game doesn't have a score on middle credit because it got rated on the ps4 but uh it's like dynasty warriors you beat up like big crowds of people and you play most of the story from the show so this is a pretty good game at 172 we got persona 4 arena ultramax now this is by atlas and arc system works these guys make some of my favorite fighting games and uh, this one is amazing as well. I got this on eBay with the cards inside for like about 25 bucks. Next, we got Prince of Persia 2008. Now this is the cell shaded version and uh, this game kind of holds up really well because the way it looks. These are the games Ubisoft were making before they went to Assassin's Creed. Next, we have another Prince of Persia game, The Forgotten Sands. Now, this game came out in 2010. Still haven't played it, but um, I'm not sure if it had the cell shading thing going on. Next, we got Prototype by Radical. These are the guys that made that amazing Hulk game, like the, I forgot what it's called, Something Destruction. But yeah, this is a great studio right here. This guy's, this is almost like uh, another version of Infamous. Next, we got Prototype 2. I think they changed the main character on this one. But I still gotta check him out. Next, we got PlayStation All-Stars battle royale now this game is basically their version of super smash bros but i heard it's a little annoying because you can't finish off your opponent unless you use your special on them so i don't know next we got portal 2 these are the same guys that created half life and left for dead now this game right here is like a puzzle game and is a must play by metacritic so if you haven't tried it, play this game. Very addicting. Next, we got Pure by Black Rock Studios. These are the same guys that did Split Second. That's a pretty good game, and this one is not bad either. It's a pretty fun racing game. Arcade style. Check it out if you haven't. Next, we got Rage by Bethesda and ID Studios. The same makers of Doom. 
this is an action RPG and um, I think it almost reminds me of like a Mad Max like a post-apocalyptic world gotta check it out next we got Ratchet and Clank Collection now these games are here some of my favorites on the PlayStation it's a 3D platformer I'm in the middle of playing this game right now actually I platinum part one part two and now I'm in the middle of finishing part three next we got Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction now this game I still haven't played but it was the first Ratchet and Clank game on PS3 and it has no trophies which sucks but I'm still gonna play it next we got Ratchet and Clank Future again a crack in time by Insomniac Games the first Ratchet and Clank game to have trophies for the PS3 can't wait to get to these right here and next we got Ratchet and Clank All for One now this one was like a multiplayer game so like you could play with your friends pick four different characters still haven't tried it Next, at 185, we got Ratchet and Clank Full Frontal Assault. Now, these are the ones that came out crossplay with the PS Vita. They're not as long as the original ones, but still great fun. I want to try them. And then finally, we got Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus. So, this is one of the most expensive Ratchet and Clank games. And um, again, this one is crossplay with the Vita and can't wait to get to it next we got Rayman Origins by Ubisoft these games go back all the way to like the PlayStation 1 this one is pretty good man like the graphics on these games are amazing check it out if you haven't they're also on the Xbox now we got Ridge Racer 7 Ridge Racer remember that one now this game right here is always like a showcase game for PlayStation and it was one of the first games for the PS3 next we got Rogue Warrior by Bethesda and Rebellion now this game I heard is pretty crappy but uh, it's very vulgar and is voiced by Mickey Rourke so I want to try it Alright, next game, we got Resistance, Fall of Man. This is another game by Zomiac. And this was their attempt to a first person shooter. This game doesn't have trophies, but it has an 86 on Mega Craig, and I definitely want to play it. Now you have Resistance 2, a PlayStation 3 exclusive. Now this game, they changed the setting. This one is more like a futuristic modern warfare style. But this is the first one I played and the one that got me into them. But anything is on me, I come down to play. I love those guys. And then finally, Resistance 3. Not talking about it, I reminded myself I gotta go back and finish. And again, in Zomiac, these guys make great games. And um, I'm pretty sure they probably never make another Resistance game. But it'll be cool if they make another one of these. Anything. At 193. We have Red Dead Redemption by Rockstar. This game right here, wow. This game has one of the best endings that I've ever experienced in the game as well. And if you haven't played this game, trust me, a must play by Metacritic. Check it out. Next, we got Resident Evil 5 by Capcom. This is the gold edition, so it comes with all the DLC. And um, this game right here is the first time that they tried doing like a co-op Resident Evil game but yeah Resident Evil 5 still a great game next we got Resident Evil 6 now this is the game right here that gets a lot of flag from the fans and um I yet to try it but something tells me that I'm not gonna find this game that bad it's just not a great Resident Evil game I guess all right next we got Resident Evil Revelations I don't know why they use Revelation so much for games, but here we are. Still want to check them out. And 
then we have resident evil operation raccoon city now this game gets crapped on a lot as well by the fans but um again it's like a co-op game online almost like a like rainbow six and ghost recon but i heard if you play online with your friends it's, it's not bad at all at 198 we got a classic in my eyes right here street fighter 4 this is the game that brought back the fighting community scene if you haven't played this game you can see a metacritic must play and this is just the vanilla version they also released super street fighter 4 which came with more dlc and this was back when they would just update the games and just charge you for a bunch of players they will release another game but as well metacritic must play next we have number 200 the sly collection by sucker punch this is the same team behind infamous and ghost of tsushima next we got soul caliber 4 the original soul caliber on dreamcast still holds up darth vader was a special character for only the playstation 3 version and if you get the xbox version you get yoda all right next we got soul caliber 5 by project soul and um this one i heard gets crapped on a little bit because they kind of messed up the storyline but um it's still a great fighting game and uh check it out if you haven't played these games they like Tekken with weapons pretty much next we got sniper elite v2 by rebellion same team behind the aliens versus predator game now this game right here is pretty cool because when you snipe someone it goes like into slow motion and it kind of gives you like that more combat effect where like it zooms in and you see the bones cracking next we got sniper elite 3 so this one i haven't played i'm pretty sure it's more of the same probably just better graphics and this is one of the later games that came out for the ps3 as you can see it was released in 2015 next at number 205 we got star wars the force unleashed now this game right here is pretty funny if you never tried it it's one of the best star wars games in my opinion the first days that you played with darth vader oh man you, you wish you, you're gonna wish that you could play with him for the rest of the game next we got the force unleashed 2 I don't remember playing this game too much, but uh, I definitely want to go back and play them. They're backwards compatible on the Series X, so I might just get them there. South Park, The Stick of Truth. Now, this game, right, is amazing. If you never played this game, it's pretty much Final Fantasy, but with the South Park characters. And it's hilarious. Check it out if you never played this game. Next, we got Star Ocean The Last Hope International. Now, I'm guessing this is probably like an expansion version because I have this on the 360 and it's just called The Last Hope. But this is one of the few games that I have in my collection with no manual. Let me know if anyone out there has an extra manual for this game. Next, we have Split Second by Blackrock. Same team behind Pure, like I said before. Now, this is a great game right here. It kind of acts like you're in a TV show. And uh, trust me, once you start playing this game, you're going to see what's up. Next, we got John Woo Presents Stranglehold. Chow Young Fat as the main character. Has the same mechanic as Max Payne like with the slow motion thing. But uh, it's a pretty fun game. Check it out. Next, we got Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Now this game is like an action RPG and uh, it's pretty good too. There's like a beat em up by Monolith. Check it out if you haven't played this game. Next we got Warhammer 4K Space Marine. Now this game is uh, it's almost like a Gears of War game. Like the heavy character, third person shooter. I still want to check that game out. Next, we got Sports Champions, 
Sony's answer to Wii Sports, pretty much. But this game right here is pretty fun, man. I ain't gonna lie. I was playing the this game, like the frisbee throwing, and I couldn't stop playing it, man. It was super fun. Next, we have another move game right here. It's called the shoot. Now, this one is like a light gun shooter. It's a little stiff, but it's pretty fun, this one right here, man. I got it for cheap for like three bucks. Next, we got Syndicate. Now, this game right here is by Starbreeze. That's the studio that's making the new Indiana Jones game. Well, it was like employees from them and they started that machine game. And uh, this game is not bad right here. First person shooter, check it out. Next, we got the Silent Hill Collection in HD. Now, I heard these games are like pretty bad ports, but they actually play better on the PS3. And I think with the patches, they actually fix these up, but I still wanna play these games. Super expensive on the original consoles. Next, we have Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Now these are all the Genesis classics right here into one compilation. You can't go wrong with these games. You get everything from platformers, shooters, beat em ups. Genesis is a classic system for sure. Next we got Sonic Unleashed. Now this game right here, another one that gets a lot of flack, but the daytime stages where you're running around with Sonic is, they'll blow you away. You're gonna wish the whole game was like that. Next, we got Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. This is by Sumo Digital. That's the same team that did the OutRun games on the original Xbox. And these guys make some great racing games, man. Check these out. At 220, we have Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed. This game is actually better than the first one right here. To me, this is one of the best kart racers besides Mario Kart. All right, next we have Sonic Generations. They basically took all the best elements from all the Sonic games and just put them all together. You get some 2D stages and 3D stages. Next, we have, boom, my most expensive game in my collection, Spider-Man Web of Shadows. This is one of the best Spider-Man games from that seventh generation. Check it out if you never played this one. It also features Venom and Wolverine. Next, we have The Amazing Spider-Man. Now, this one is based on the movie. And if you're going to play one, play this one. Because I heard part two is not that great. Next, we got Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Now, this is a game right here that was supposed to be... A masterpiece it's not bad but it's pretty much like a Street Fighter 4 expansion with all the Tekken characters in it next we got Tekken 6 now this is the first Tekken on the seventh generation they did 4 and 5 and Tekken Tag Tournament on the PS2 but this one is not bad it's not as great as the originals but check it out Next, we got Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Now, this game right here is pretty much like an expansion of Part 6 with some extra characters. And you got the Tag Team mode. This game is uh, backwards compatible on the Series X as well. Next, we got Twisted Metal. Now, this is when they bought it back in 2012. And um, these games are gotten, have gotten a little bit more popular since the show came out on Peacock. So next we got TNA Impact by Midway. So this was like one of the last games that Midway published right before WB Games took over. I never played this game, but I'm pretty sure it's not that great. Next, we got Tron Evolution by Disney. Now this game is almost like a, it's a mix of a bunch of game styles. So like some scenes you shoot, some scenes you drive, you got beat em up scenes. It's not such a bad game. Check it out if you never tried it. Next, 
we have Torak from 2009. This is the their attempt to bring back Torak to the seventh generation right here. First person shooter, fighting dinosaurs. Yeah, I want to check it out. All right, number 231. We got Terminator Salvation. Oh my God, this game is trash. But let me tell you, it's a easy platinum. I'll give you props if you go through this game right here, man. It's stressful. But I guess it's worth it at the end for that platinum. Next, we got the Tomb Raider Trilogy. Now, this game comes with Tomb Raider Legend, Tomb Raider Anniversary, and Tomb Raider Underworld. Crystal Dynamics, man, they made some pretty good Tomb Raider games, but I don't know what the hell happened with that Avengers game. Speaking of, this is the Tomb Raider game right here that Crystal Dynamics is known for. And um, this game is pretty freaking badass, man. Next, we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Danger of the Ooze. Now, this game is by Way Forward. And if you know me, I love Way Forward. This game is not bad. It's like a side scrolling 2D platformer mixed with like a beat em up game. Next, we got UFC Undisputed 2010. I never knew that these games were developed by Ukes, the same people that did the Raw vs. SmackDown games. And um, some of these UFC games are, are worth playing, so check them out if you never tried them. Next, we got Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now, this is pretty much the expansion version of that Fate of Two Worlds. And uh, yes, they made me buy this game twice. But this is the one to have right here. It comes with all the characters, and uh, I love that game. Next, we got Uncharted Drake's Fortune by Naughty Dog. One of my favorite developers. You never play Uncharted. These games are dirt cheap, and they're masterpieces. And of course, we got Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. I remember this was the first game I got with my PS3 and it made me feel like it can't get better than this. This is one of the best games on the system for sure. And finally, we got Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Now this game, I just felt like they were trying to live up to number two, but don't sleep, this game is just as good. Trust me, once you play the first two, there's no way you're not gonna play the third. It's definitely worth it. Next, we got Marvel's Ultimate Alliance. Now, this game right here was made by Raven Software, the same team behind the Wolverine's Origin game. And these guys make some great games right here. This is an action RPG. Trust me, this game is worth having right here. Next, we got Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Now, this game was developed by a different team. They didn't make as much noise as the first one. But it's the same style, action RPG, and uh, it's worth playing. Next, we got Vanquished, another title by Platinum Games. This is from the creators of Bayonetta, and this game is wild right here. It's like a third-person shooter, but you're a robot that slides around to like all the cover spots, and this game gets pretty wild after a while. So check it out if you never played it. Next, we got vampire resurrection this is the japanese copy of this game this game is pretty expensive if you try to get it on ebay but this was the only way to have dark stalkers on the ps3 physical version virtual fighter 5 by sega this is one of the original titles on the saturn and i was able to get number five pretty cheap on the ps3 so i always like having these games one of the best 3d fighters Next, speaking of, by Raven Software, this is Wolverine X-Men Origins. Now, this game right here, the Uncaged Edition, trust me, this game right here is not only amazing, but it's going to be worth it. It's already up to 70 bucks for the PS3 version. Trust me, get this game if you see it. Watch Dogs by Ubisoft. Now, this game is almost like Grand Theft Auto, but you're like a hacker, and you could use your weapons, and pretty good another late title on the ps3 
next we got the walking dead by telltale games now this game right here will blow you away if you're a person that's not really into video games or you want to experience a good video game check this game out right here an interactive revenger at 248 we got the walking dead season two it picks up right after season one ends the only thing i didn't like about this game is that it doesn't have a platinum which i didn't even notice until i was like almost completely done with this game but it's still worth checking out next we got wolfenstein by id and raven software again the same makers of wolverine x-men origins and marvel alliance this is a great studio right here this is a first person shooter and this is the wolfenstein game that hardly no one talks about but it's pretty good wwe legends of wrestlemania and it was released at the same time as smackdown vs raw 2009 but this game is not that great it's almost like it has like some quick time elements into it and it's not bad either but and at 251 we got smackdown vs raw 2011 now this was the last um smackdown vs raw game before they switched to just wwe this one is not that bad though i heard people tell me they like it a lot but i think i tried this once when they first came out never played it again next we got wwe 13 with cm punk on the cover i don't remember playing this one but i remember when they were hyping this game up it was the whole thing with cm punk versus stone cold which never happened next we got one of the best wwe games ever made right here wwe 2k14 with the rock on the cover this is also developed by ukes this one almost did like the nba 2k style where like it let you play a bunch of like famous moments and finally we got wwe 2k15 this game has a way better score on the ps4 so i want to see if i could get my hands on that one because this 55 ain't doing it Next, we got XCOM Enemy Unknown. Now, this game is like a tactical strategy game, and I heard it's pretty fun. Like, once you get the hang of it, you can put a lot of hours on this game. Just look at the score from Metacritic. And at 256, we got Yakuza Dead Souls. There's the same studio that developed Binary Domain. There's like a zombie shooter right here. It doesn't have such a great score, but this is one of my most expensive games in my PS3 collection. And last but not least, we got Zone of the Enders HD Collection by Konami. This is another game developed by Kojima, and it's like a mech third person shooter, but it's pretty fun. It's like hack and slash elements mixed in there too. So check this game out if you haven't played it. All right guys, so that's it that wraps up my ps3 collection as it sits for january of 2024 if you watch all the way to the end big thanks to you i'm a one-man team and uh i appreciate the support if you haven't seen part one then check it out when you get the chance i got the first 115 titles on there i'm not sure what i'm going to display yet but let me know what you guys want to see next I'm thinking doing PlayStation 4 or even Xbox 360. I've gotten my hands on a couple of games and soon I'll be making another pickups video. Again, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. It's Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer. Remember that one?